Hey guys, it's Danique here from DIY Health. Today we're going to look at a hydrotherapy treatment called the Russian steam bath. This will help you with things such as colds, flus, detoxification even, um, rheumatoid arthritis, and gout. Don't forget to check below in the description for contraindications and uh, let's dive in. Step 1. Put a kettle with boiling water, with the steam coming out, under a chair. Make sure that the spout points toward the back of the chair. Lay a bath mat or towel in front of the chair and place a dishpan with enough warm water to cover the ankles on top. This water should be as hot as the person can handle. Drape a towel over the chair. Have a bowl with ice water ready. Step 2. Let the person sit down and then drape a towel over his shoulders. Step 3. Carefully immerse the person's feet in the dishpan with warm water. Step 4. Wrap the person in a sheet and then a shower curtain. For the best effect, wrap him in a blanket as well on top of the other two layers. Step 5. Wrap a small towel around his neck, making sure to tuck it in so that no heat can escape. Step 6. Let him sit in this position for about 15 to 20 minutes. Step 7. If sweating occurs, soak a small towel in ice water, wring out as much water as possible, and then lay it on his forehead. Step 8. Once the treatment is over, take off all the layers. Step 9. Remove his feet from the dishpan and have him point his toes upward while you pour ice water over his feet to end the treatment. Step 10. Place his feet on a bath mat or dry towel and rub his feet dry. Let him put on some warm socks to prevent him from getting chilly. A couple things to note. 1. Make sure that he drinks enough water throughout the treatment. This is very important. 2. Regularly check the temperature of his foot bath with your elbow or the palm of your hand to make sure it's still hot enough. Add hot water if needed. Three. Adjust steam if needed. 4. Check his pulse frequently and if it rises above 120 beats per minute, decrease the steam production or apply an ice bath to the head. 5. Be careful doing this treatment on people who have a high blood pressure, heart problems, diabetes, or emaciation. Well, that's it for this video. I hope you liked what you saw and that you learned something new from it and that you'll do it at home. And uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment to tell us and your fellow YouTube watchers what your favorite natural remedy was. We'll see you next time. And don't forget, stay healthy.